Round two highlights from the web.com tours Greater Dallas Open. Held at the lakes at Castle Hills in Louisville, Texas. We will start off on the fourth hole with Kevin Tway. Sitting at five under to this point, began the day at one under par, put together a five under 67, and he will enter the weekend at six under overall. Timothy Madigan now on the 12th. This for a downhill birdie putt. From about 13 feet out, he gets it to go. He fired off a round one, six under 66. Slowed down on Friday with an even par round, so he enters the weekend the same way he entered Friday at six under par. Tommy Ganey, remember he was our overnight leader after recording that blazing nine under 63 on Thursday. This is his last hole of the day on Friday, giving himself a nice look at birdie to finish three under on his day, 12 under. Overall, in the web.com tour, these guys go deep every single week. It's hard to believe a 63 and a 69 would still leave you two off the lead, but that is where Ganey sits heading into the weekend. Michael Kim on the 12th, sitting at 11 under par to this point. This is his third shot on the par five. The ball releases, but still gives himself about 10 feet here for birdie to move to 12 under. He was... 8 under on his day and 8 under 64. That takes him to 13 under overall and just one off the lead. Kevin Foley now on the first. His second shot, par 4. He matched Ganey's 63 from Thursday. He did it in round 2. Started on the back 9, enters the weekend at 13 under par. Thanks in part to this birdie on the first where he was making the turn. So Kevin Foley... Matches that 63. Really, really impressive stuff from a lot of players going low really early this week. So it'll be interesting to keep track of those scores as we head into the weekend. And speaking of low scores, how about that eagle from Julian at Tulane on the 8th to jump to 10 under par. He would finish with a 6 under 66, 13 under overall. Mark Silvers now on the 12th. This also for an eagle attempt to jump to 10 under par. Caught fire starting on the 12th. He birdied six of his last seven holes for a second round nine under 63. So we have three 63s already on the board this week. That's 14 under overall for Mark Silvers and he is tied for first after a blazing Friday round.